With the iPhone X retailing at $1,000 or more in stores and people waiting to drop hundreds of dollars on Kanye West's new shoe, one Cal State Fullerton in-residence artist is making something valuable out of materials insignificant to others. And there was like a line to take selfies in the exhibition space. And while people were waiting, we had a chance to talk about the exhibition. There's a text panel in the space that kind of explains it, but it also gave us a chance to talk a little bit more about you know, what environmental issues are going on, about uh, the pollution of stores that take place through downtown Santa Ana and you know, issues of gentrification and change as well. Rebecca Chernow created Hashtag Superbloom and currently lives above CSUF's Grand Central Art Center in downtown Santa Ana. She saw the excitement the actual Superbloom created this past spring and witnessed the massive amounts of trash being littered on Santa Ana streets from people's everyday purchases. I'm noticing there was a lot of Starbucks straws around downtown because there's some big Starbucks here. Uh, and there was these bags from a local department store that drift through the streets of Santa Ana, these orange bags. So she started collecting those and she created her own super bloom here at Grand Central Arts Center so people could take selfies, um, but with recycled materials and thinking about what it means to be in a space of environment or to destruct a space of environment. That is why she was inspired to create hashtag super bloom, her own unique take on both art and culture today. She's just noticed these things that exist and so she's been collecting them and having other people collect them for her, uh, cleaning them off and getting them in shape and then creating the installation. So it's really kind of a heightened awareness of this thing that's made from this local community. While California's real Super Bloom has been over for months, Chernow's hashtag Super Bloom, made out of materials others cast away, will be on display until January 17th, 2018. For the report program, I'm Matthew Kirkland.